Hello, welcome back to MED Friday Tech video. And I thought this time of year everyone's rebuilding their race cars over winter, so I'd take a quick look at mechanical water pumps versus electric water pumps. So over to you, Steve. Okay, here we go then. To start with, we'll look at a mechanical water pump. Aluminium body, spindle running through the center, running on bearings, drive this end, impeller for the water pump drive this end. Okay. Okay, so basically, sits in situ, you've got a V-belt on, V-belt pulley on the bottom, V-belt pulley here, V-belt driving it, obviously it turns out. Yep. You need power to drive the pump. The power comes from the engine. Understand. If you got rid of this, you save power. So an increase of maybe three bhp to the engine without wow. this running. It doesn't sound that much, but in terms limited of formula percentage wise, power, yeah, it's three massive, yeah. yeah. So okay, so we we we'll lose that one. Set. Okay. So here we have the Davis Craig electric water pump. No, I'll show you where that fits. We would mount this so around there via the pipe. And we have the pipes made extra long, so people, some people want them over here, some people want them close. And you can it's trim it down. best just to have maybe 20 mil gap, yeah. so cut the pipe to suit. Obviously the shorter that is, the more secure the pump's going to exactly. be. Exactly. Because they are just rubber mounted on there. They are rubber mounted via the pipe, so yeah. the pipe takes the vibrations away. Okay, so that's the pump. Right, you'll notice that we've made this plate. This plate is a CNC machine plate, held on with four screws. Okay. And then it's got the adapter on here which sits on an O-ring to stop it leaking. The pipe here is larger diameter than the pipe on the other side. So it's 38 to 35 I believe. Exactly. The reason we make it 38 is so that the water, as it comes through the pipe, it can actually get around the rear of the block. If you make the pipe smaller, yeah. it will restrict the flow of water around the back. Okay. It's almost like a smaller, smaller jet of water I suppose. Exactly. So you've got a pipe, which is basically two different sizes. An adapter. One for there, one for there. Okay. And then run that down to, I mean, you can't run a side mounted rad on that, surely. It's you, not gonna you'd fit. You struggle, as you can see, even if you mounted that directly to there, that dimension, your, your standard rad normally sits here. So. Yeah, so you're gonna have to tuck it down there on the lower hose somewhere, and yeah, it gets a bit messy. You would struggle. So what do you do instead? We've got. We've got. Here's one we made earlier. <laughs> this is a front mounted aluminium radiator. Nice. If you notice, the weld on this is second to none. Is this made in the UK? Made in the UK from UK components. Yeah. These cool a lot better than the cheap Chinese copies. Yeah. They also do not fall apart like the Chinese copies. So a bit more expensive, but it's an investment. Exactly. It's going to last. Don't want to be racing around. A circuit to find out all of a sudden that your radiator splits. We might not know about it, especially Until in the heat of the moment. Ten thousand pound for a new race engine. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what happens is this one fits around about there, just below the alternator, isn't it? Okay. This one is now sitting just. You need some more hands. Hang on. Yeah. Right. There we go. <laughs> just Something so. Like that. Yeah. And then we supply hoses and tubes yep. to connect from here to here, from here to the stack, yep. and also the uh, header tank, yep. Up the top. all the pipes and all the connectors are all included in the kit. Complete kit. Okay, obviously we can sell these bits separately as well, so if you've already got a rad and you need a pump. Yep, so anything is available. You can buy the rad, the plate, the pump, the pipes, yep. the rad cap, we even fit a stamped American radiator cap, yep. which is a locking one, 16 pound. Okay. You can even buy the cap on its own if you want. The whole lot, so we can do it. Yeah. Um, the, the main, well, another main reason for going for this, obviously it's not driven by the engine, so the speed is independent exactly. from the RPM. Yes. I mean, what the effect pump, does that have? The pump runs at its own speed, no respect to the engine at all. Okay. Now the beauty of the pump, like we've said, is it doesn't sap power from the engine. Yeah. Also, what you can do with this pump is you can use the engine, you can run the engine without the pump running. Yeah. So to start the engine up, start it up, warm it up so it's a reasonable temperature, switch the pump on, water stops flowing. Ideal. Okay. 
The biggest benefit is at the end of a race. The engine is steaming hot. Most people now with a mechanical pump turn the engine off and the water stays static within the engine. With this, you can turn the engine off, leave the pump running and the water still circulates, giving an even cool down. To stop that heat soak up into the head. Which we all know what happens then. Yeah, you crack the head. The head cracks. Yeah. And then you're into another thousand pound plus for a new head because your, your head's head. cracked. Right. So benefit threefold really. Yeah. Power sap. Yeah. Warm up time, cool down. Better reliability. And obviously, we'll save you money in the end. Uh, I suppose it comes with a wiring kit as well, doesn't it? It comes, yeah, with, a, just, comes uh, with a four pin relay, um, simple little wiring loom, so it's all together there. This is the little box it comes with. All your full instructions. Wiring. Um, you have to bleed them in, in a certain angle as well, that's also worth mentioning. But yeah, it again, tells you all that in there. Yeah. And then it comes with all the clips, it comes with different adapters, which you won't need if you're using our kit. Yeah. But our hose clips, wiring harness, it's all everything's there, there. Yeah. even a little relay. Yeah. So you and can again, like I say, you can buy the pump on its own if you want to, it's no problem. Just we can supply a uh, controller as well, but to be honest, most race cars, you just leave it on the switch. Leave it flat out at all times. You can if you run it on a road car of some sort. If you've got thermostat. a fancy, yeah, you can run it on thermostatic yes. controller. Um, but otherwise, leave it on all the time. There you go. I was thinking maybe next week we could look at dry decking. Yeah, we'll quick just quickly before we run away from that. Let's okay. Just, uh, While we're here. Regarding the dry decking, it basically stops the water from moving through the engine faster than what it needs to. Okay. But like Stephen says, we'll run through that next week. We'll show you how it's done, the different processes, whether you can plug the block, plug the head, or use a gasket, or there are a many few, differences. Few different. So we'll run through that next week, dry decking. Brilliant. That's a definite. Awesome. Thanks okay. for watching.